Good day, everybody. I'm Admiral Jim Stavridis. I just completed four years as the Supreme Allied Commander of NATO and did a great deal of work with Armenia during that time. And so I'm very pleased to be able to welcome all of you to NATO Days in Armenia. What a wonderful place to bring together people from all around the NATO world to think about the connections that we share. Because at the end of the day, NATO is a bridge. For too long in the 20th century, we tried to create security by hiding behind walls. In today's world, in this 21st century, we must build bridges to create security. And NATO is a bridge not only among the 28 nations who are alliance members, but also among the many partners of NATO. And I would say Armenia has been a superb partner to NATO. And I'll give you two very practical examples. During my time as the Supreme Allied Commander from 2009 to 2013, I had a chance to see brave Armenian troops participating shoulder to shoulder with NATO troops in Afghanistan, perhaps our most challenging mission, and also in the Balkans, a place where there has been a great deal of unrest and challenge. But over the last decade, NATO, the European Union, the United Nations, working together, building bridges, if you will, have been able to create a much more positive and stable environment. Armenia has been part of that. Your armed forces have been important, important members of those missions. I know Armenia is also thinking about more peacekeeping missions, perhaps with the United Nations. What Armenia's military has learned from interoperating with NATO forces will be incredibly helpful as your troops potentially participate in United Nations peacekeeping missions. Above all, I simply want to convey a sense of real solidarity with the armed forces of Armenia to say thank you to the nation of Armenia for providing your sons and daughters to participate in these NATO missions and indeed to say thank you for the visit that I just completed in Armenia just a month ago, visiting with the many graduates of the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy, where today I have the honor of being the dean and always look forward to my interactions with the many Armenian citizens who have been students here. Again, thank you for the opportunity to welcome all of you to NATO Days. I wish I could be there with you in person. I intend to come back to Armenia next summer and continue a pattern of visits there, recognizing not only the great work of Armenia as a partner to NATO, but also the wonderful presence of so many graduates of the Fletcher School. So on many counts, I'll close by saying thank you to the nation of Armenia. Welcome to NATO Days.